today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this website step by step with no steps skipped and doesn't require any knowledge of coding. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just insert. It's very simple to use, it's a very easy theme. As you guys can tell, I like Terminator, so I decided to do a website about Terminator. I decided to mix it up a little bit because you can sort of make a fan base website yet also make a business portfolio website with this theme. So let's go ahead and scroll down right here. As we can see, this is our welcome page, what we can do. And on this one, I particularly took out the menu. This is a one page theme. So what that means is that there's only one page and many companies have decided to start doing this. So let's go ahead and scroll down about our company and weapons. Uh, we bring the award to you. As you can tell, we have our icons about our services. Next, we have our meet the company. You can embed a link right here that will send them to another uh, website or partner. This is about us, about our company. And right here, you can insert text and introduce your company, embed a little picture right here. Next, we can have our meet the staff, which would talk about the owner. Uh, here, we decided to mix it up and do the S800, which is Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator, the T1000, advanced robot. And if you want, you can go ahead and check his Facebook and Twitter and all sorts of goodies. And this is me. If I were a Terminator, I'm just going to be the grunt Terminator and check our social icons, our drop down menu right here. And this is the T-1000 in the new movie, uh, Genesis. I didn't really like it. I thought, why is there this guy? I, don't, I still don't get it. I really don't get it. But anyways, let's just keep going. And next we have our testimonials. And as you can see in the background, we still have the beautiful uh, Terminator right there. And right here, we can see that Arnold does not like it. This is a terrible company. And we have our signature writing right here. He is a business owner. You're going to go ahead and put whatever you'd like. And we have our Sarah Connor image right here and she can go ahead and put whatever she would like about the company and we have the other terminator which is the uh, woman which happens to be a victoria secrets model i believe and she signed her name right here as you can see and we can also put something another related link uh, we are the best company on the market perhaps you have a link showing you your statistics we can go ahead and put that link in there and also we want to do our blog so this is our blog read our latest accomplishments go ahead and read here and as you can see, this is the T-1000. And if we just go ahead and hover over the picture, we now see we almost destroyed the world. Read the full article. Looks good. I'm encouraged to read it. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now we can see right here, we destroyed the world. And we see the article title. And that old machine stopped us once again. And somebody commented right here, oh my goodness. We can say, maybe next time. And go ahead and post the comment. And now we can see that there is another comment posted right here. So let's go ahead and scroll back. One more time because I posted the comment. And now on the bottom right here, we have our address, we have our contact information, and we have our phone number. And this is actually really good because if you have Skype, it's just a click of a button and then there you go. It'll call right away. And we actually have our social icons on the bottom for the website. So if you have a business website, a social networking website, you can go ahead and embed those um, your links right there. And when you click on it, it'll go back. So as you guys can see, it's a very uh, unique one-page theme. Very simple, very easy if you have a company. Many companies are actually deciding to do this. And I have a list of companies like KitKat. Have you all seen KitKat? KitKat is a one-page theme just like the one we're introducing. So this right here is just a one-page theme. There's no pages. And all you do is simply scroll down and they talk about, uh, you know, it's, it's, as you can see, it's a little similar to the one I showed you. We're just kind of scrolling. They have a very large theme. Also, um, this other site right here. And as you can see right here, these are not pages. These actually just bring them down to the certain, page, certain area. So if I click on about us, it's just going to bring us down. Feature to work. Bring us up. Home bring us up. So as you can see, this is also a one page theme and it's simple. It's very easy. It looks good and it attracts an audience. My website right here, it's not a one page theme. And this is my website and I teach you how to make websites for free. So if you ever want to go and look at my website, darylwilson.com, you can go ahead and check it out. However, we're going to go ahead and make this website step by step. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to go to Google, 
and we're going to type in HostGator. There you go, HostGator. As you guys can see, I go there quite a lot. And we want to go ahead and put Get Started Now. We're going to make this website in probably 30 minutes. I'm telling you, it's that simple. It's so easy. Now, let's first, let's go check our plan. We want to do our hatchling plan, our baby plan, or our business plan. I personally recommend the baby plan because now you get unlimited domains instead of just one. That's a huge difference. Uh, I do not recommend the business, this private SSL and IP. Uh, I don't really recommend it. No, we don't want to do that. So go ahead and click on sign up now. And let's go ahead and enter in your domain. So if you want to enter in a domain, um, whatever you would like your business to be, uh, this is, like I said, it's great for businesses and it's also great for fan submitted websites, uh, whatever you would like, really. So let's just say you're a Star Wars fan and you love Kylo Ren. I love Kylo Ren. Is that taken? Wow, that's not taken. So maybe you want to put I love Kylo Ren and go ahead and put I love Kylo Ren .com and go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to go ahead and do our baby and let's do month to month. And also one more thing, you want to uncheck this add domain privacy protection. You don't really need that. So now let's go ahead and enter in our username. So uh, uh, Arnold, Arnold99, one, two, oh wait, no capital letters. I'm so sorry. So Arnold99, 998, and then enter um, four, five, six, seven, whatever you would like. Go ahead and enter your email, your confirmation email, and your first and last name. Uh, this isn't required. You don't have to do this, or your company at least. Um, but your zip code is. And after that, go ahead and put in your credit card information. And next, scroll down. And now we're at our additional services page. I do not recommend getting any of these because a lot of the WordPress plugins can do this, so you don't need to pay for it. HostGator, don't hate me. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck these boxes right here. Next, we're going to scroll down and we see our price at one month. I actually have another coupon code for everybody. So on the coupon code right here, you're going to enter, you're going to take this off. And now we're going to enter quick Feb 30, quick Feb 30. Don't worry about February. Uh, this code is good forever. I'm actually going to get no more soon. I hope so. So let's go ahead and click on validate. Boom. Okay, great. So originally it was at $22 and something odd cents. So we saved five bucks. Amazing. We saved money. So now we'll go ahead and click on this. And when you're ready and you've reviewed everything, just go ahead and click on checkout. Okay. So once you click on checkout, you're going to get a congratulations page. Welcome to HostGator. And it's going to bring you here. It's going to bring you to your control panel. And I know this looks a little overwhelming. Uh, don't worry about it. You want to go to your email because you're going to get a confirmation email about where you went or uh, where you signed up for. So go ahead and click on your confirmation email that you're going to get. And it should look something like this. So you guys can see it has your username and it has your password. Now this is for your control panel, not for your HostGator account. Okay. You already did your HostGator account. You already signed up for that. This is for your control panel. And that will let you access the websites and sort of adjust and modify, etc. Don't worry. Stay with me. We're going to do this together. So next, you're going to go ahead and click on your control panel. Boop. And the same information right here. I have Darylow3. This password right here. You're going to go ahead and just copy and paste that into there. So I have Darylow3 and my password. Login successful. Amazing. I did it. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done so far. Let's see right here. So we got our domain. Done. Now we got our hosting. Done. Now we need to install WordPress. Now let's go ahead and do that. And then next, our last step, of course, is going to be create creates our amazing website. That's a little too big. That's okay. So next, let's go ahead and install WordPress. WordPress is something where you install the um, website with, and it's very easy to make. It's almost foolproof. It's literally drag and drop, uh, drop, uh, 
<laughs> drag and drop. It's very simple to do. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And right here it says software and services. We want to go ahead and click on quick install. Okay, great. So now that we're here, we're going to see this option list right here. We want to go ahead and click on install WordPress. And they have these other ones. Don't get any of these. This is absolutely crazy. Don't get it. Just get the free WordPress, install WordPress for free. And right here, you're going to go ahead and find your website. So I chose the Magnanimous website, the magnanimous.com. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. As you can tell, I have other websites. Put nothing here. Don't put anything here. If you put something here, it's going to install WordPress onto this, this path, and you do not want that. So next, we're going to put our email. I'm going to put my email where I send all my spam, and uh, anyone that contacts me will probably go there too. And our blog title. Next, we're going to go ahead and put um, the Terminator. My spelling, Terminator. Admin user, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Terminator 03. And now we're going to go ahead and install WordPress. Is everything looking good? Yep, everything looks good. Go ahead and install WordPress. No thanks, I'm a web designer, find anything. Oh, they do that a lot, actually. One, well, some of them say, like, no thanks, I'm a super genius, and it's they just do that to make you feel bad when you say no. <clears throat> so next you see your install is complete. Click here to view your notifications. Okay, great. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and click on this. And now we can see right here we have a username for WordPress and our password. Now this username and password is for your WordPress login. Not for your cPanel, not for HostGator. Okay, so you're going to have three passwords. I know, that's a lot of passwords. Don't worry. Um, yeah. Anyways, okay, so your admin area, you're going to want to click on this. Now, if it does not show up, if it just comes up as a random website, just give it time because it happens to me all the time. So go ahead and click on it and go. And now we can see we're at this website. So this right here means you need to wait. That's all. So just give it maybe two, three hours. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to go uh, maybe play some video games or go hiking or something. So go ahead and just wait. And when it's ready, just come back to it and we'll start from there. Okay, I'm back. I went to go hiking really quick. And let's go ahead now and click on the admin area. And now we can see our WordPress login is right here. So do you remember the information it gave us on the previous page, Terminator03, and that's my password? So I'm going to go ahead and copy this in, and my password, copy it, and now let's go ahead and paste it. Remember me, why not? I use this app, uh, LastPass, I'll probably talk about it next tutorial or something. It's really helpful. It's sorted all your passwords for you. So before we begin, let's go ahead and see what we've done. So we got our domain, done. Got our hosting, done. Installed WordPress, done. Now let's go ahead and create our amazing website. Let's do it. So before we begin, let's go to users and let's change our password and information just so um, next time you log in, uh, you'll, you know, they give you this automated password. So right here in the bottom, I'm sorry, I'm going a little fast here. Let's go ahead and click on midnight. I like this better. So right here, um, your first and last name, nickname, <laughs> you don't need to put it in. Uh, scroll down your email, the one we put in, website. However, you just scroll down to the bottom. We're going to get new password. We're going to click on generate password. Go ahead and backspace this and go ahead and put what you want. So I'm going to put in... Um, uh, Arnold 99 is my password. Go ahead and click your confirm use of weak password and uh, go ahead and click update profile. So now we can see it says profile updated. And now the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and look at our site. Now you can see it looks very boring. It doesn't look anything like the websites uh, we've talked about over here. And we're going to go ahead and make it like that. So first what we need to do is install our theme. That's the most important part of WordPress is installing your theme. So under appearance right here, you're going to click on themes. Now, these right here, just ignore them. You're going to click up here on add new. And we can go ahead and browse really quick. Go ahead and click on popular. 
And we can see here now there's a list of themes people like to use. Um, it looks very nice. We're actually going to use the Zara flight theme. Actually, no, we're not going to use it. The same company makes it. We're going to use the responsive boat theme. But just go ahead and scroll down, take a look. You know, um, if you have another website, maybe you want to sort of understand the feel of these other websites. Of course, when you click on it and go to preview, it doesn't look like that. It looks like this. However, this is the architecture of the website. So let's go ahead and go to our theme we're going to add. So under themes right here, go ahead and type in boat. B-O-A-T. Boat. Now we can see right here, we have the responsive boat theme. Go ahead and install this WordPress theme. This is the theme we're going to use. So go ahead and click install. And right here, it's going to say live preview, activate. Go ahead and click on activate. All right. Now let's go see what our website has looked like. What has what has it is changed to. Now you can see our website is coming along very well and it's very similar to our other websites. And this WordPress theme is so simple to use. You can make your website in literally 20 minutes. It's simply just deleting the text, putting your text in there, updating your logo. That's all you're doing. It's that simple. It's that easy. So let's go ahead and get started. So we see our website. Now we want to customize it. Now let's go ahead and click on customize right here. So our site identity. Go ahead and click on site identity. And as you can see, the title or site title, uh, go ahead and delete this. It's not going to show up. And our logo, if you have a logo, go ahead and put in your logo. Remember, your logo is going to come up on the top right, up, top left up here. I'm sorry. It's going to come up right there. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a logo just to show you guys what it's going to look like. And let's just go ahead and put this little night shield. Choose image. And now we want a site icon. Now, a site icon is something that shows up on the top left up here. You see these uh, Yahoo. I have 7,000 messages a lot. And we see this um, quick install, these little icons. That is going to be your site icon. So whatever you want your site icon to be, go ahead and put that in there. For this, I'm just going to use the same one again. See, as you can tell right here, it shows up on the top left of the website. So that's what it's going to look like as a, as a preview. So go ahead and just crop the image or however you want to do it. Go ahead and click Save and Publish. Now let's go ahead and see what that's done. So as you can see up here on the top left, now we can see our icon. And if we scroll down, we're going to go ahead and see our little shield right there. Uh, this little um, WordPress bar blocks it, but if we're not logged in WordPress, you'll be able to see it fully. So let's go ahead and go back to Customize. And let's just go ahead and scroll down. We're just going to go ahead and, and start from the top and work our way down to the bottom just by strictly just going off of what we think it looks good. So Site Identity, we did that, done scroll back now this section ordered in colors this is with their pro version so if you want to go ahead and buy their pro version I would not buy it and I don't recommend it because this is a free WordPress website you can look into their pro version for other options they might add however we're not going to do that so go ahead and click on back now for general options up here go ahead and click on general and this is their preloader their smooth scroller um, I like the way this looks right now if you want a, a slower scroller, you would have to disable that. Um, the preloader, it tells you what it does right here. Basically, it, it enables it a little bit slower. However, the whole page is visible right away. So I would just leave these all unchecked right here. You don't really need any of these. Go ahead and click on back. Footer social icons. So now we can see at the bottom of the page, we have our footer icons. So our Facebook. Twitter, LinkedIn, Behance, Dribble, and Instagram, which we can add like this. And now we see the Instagram logo is there. Now, if we just have a uh, Google, or let's say we have a, only Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram, just go ahead and um, put in the URL right here. So, dot facebook.com slash Daryl dot Wilson 336 would be mine. And you're just going to go ahead and insert your Facebook link right there. So when they click on this icon, they're going to be redirected to your Facebook page. Okay. So once you're done right there, put in your LinkedIn and your Instagram. Just go ahead and click on save. So now remember, they click on these. They're going to go back to your profile. So make sure it's public. So go ahead and click on back. Footer content. Now we can see right here our company address. 
So if your company has an address, just simply fill it in. So 9999 Taylor Way, Los Angeles, CA. Okay, and if you want to change the image, you can actually change the image. However, these are very standard, good-looking images. And I do have a website where we will get more images uh, later on. But for now, I want to use these images because this looks good. So next right here, we have our, um, our website right here. I'm going to go ahead and you can either have it like that or you can just go ahead and take it out because I want them to see the email. So go ahead and just backspace all that. And like that's my email right there like that. So now we can see our email shows up at the bottom right here. So now there's a way to contact us. And now let's say they want to call us. Now this way is actually, uh, it's good. But however, I want to do this. 818-849-899. And go ahead and once you're done filling in this information, go to click Save and Publish. Now let's scroll back to see what we've done. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And we can see our information right here it shows up very well. Um, we see our address, we see our email, and we see our um, telephone number right there. So let's go ahead and keep scrolling down. We're doing pretty good so far. We've changed our headers. We added uh, some links to our social icons. So let's go ahead and click on customize and keep working our way down. We're going, we're working, we're working. So in our general options, footer content, we've done that. Check. So go click on back. So we've done site identity, general options. Now let's do the big title section. So we're going to do this section right here, the big title section. Go ahead and click on that. And let's go look at main content. Now you have an option to hide the big title section like that. Of course, I would never do that because it looks beautiful. But if you want, you can go ahead and delete that. Oops, sorry. So go ahead and uncheck that. And for your title, go ahead and put in whatever you would like. So now you see it's disappeared and I'm going to put welcome to Skynet. And now we can see that our text looks good right here. Um, our features. So this is our button right here. We have a button and we have another button. Now, if you only want one button to show up, let's just say you just say like learn now or something like that. Just go ahead and backspace that and backspace the link. And for our green button label, we're just going to put learn more. And if you have an image, you can go ahead and put your image, your header logo. Let's say your company has a logo that you want to just put in right there in the middle and make it beautiful. Let's go ahead and do that. So right here, I'm going to change this image. I'm going to upload my file. And I have an, uh, a logo right here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this image. Now remember, if you want to adjust the image, um, you're going to have to do that uh, you know, off page. However, uh, I like the, the size of this image. I think it looks good. And let's go ahead and click on Save and Publish. Now let's go ahead and see what our website looks like from just a perspective point of view. So now this is our landing page. As we can tell, we have just the Welcome to Skynet, the Learn More. And remember, you're going to put a link to wherever you want to go. So now I clicked on the, the, the link and it brings me to Features. So now you can see that the button just brings me back to another page, sort of like how before I showed you those other websites, they do the same exact thing. Now remember, you can link it to another page. Let's say you have a, a, a large sales on eBay or Amazon or your Amazon store you want them to show up to, whatever you would like, go ahead and link them there. So before we begin, let's go back to customize and keep working our way down the options. So now we have general options, which we did, big title section, which we're doing, and now we have the parallax effect. Um, go ahead and remove these. These are stock images that we don't really need. The parallax effect is basically when you scroll down, it gives it a more slower effect. I don't like that. I like the way it lives now. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this here and click on save and publish. Video background, we can't add that because we do not have the pro version. Um, I'm actually going to show you in my next video on how to make this website, my website, DarylWilson.com. And as you can see, it is an amazing looking website. We have the video background right here, our start here button, and we're going to scroll down. I'll show you how to do all this on my next video coming up. So be sure to subscribe and watch because I will show you how to do that. So next we're going to go back to our website. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go back to this website right here. 
and we're going to scroll back. And now that we're done with our big title section, let's do our focus section. So this right here is our focus section right here, our features. So go ahead and click on our focus section, content. Now you see where it says features right here? Just simply backspace this and let's put in um, about our weapons. So remember, this is Skynet. They create, uh, you know, self-destructing weapons. And right here, our subtext is where we're going to put our other text. So go ahead and take this and backspace it. Making the best weapons today. And remember, this checkbox is if you want to hide this section. So if you want to hide this section, just go ahead and click on hide. And now it's it's gone. It's The section is completely gone. And it goes on to the next section. However, I like this section. So we're going to keep it on. So now we go ahead and click on save and publish. We've changed the title. We've changed all this information up here. Go ahead and click on back. And now let's go to our focused section widgets. So this is basically these little, these little boxes right here. So we see our first one right here is called the parallax effect, which is this box. So simply, if you want to change this, go ahead and click on this. And now we can type in something else. As you can see, the title disappeared. So now we can type in, um, we make terminators. And as you can see, now this has changed. And whatever text you would want, you would simply just put it in there. The T1000 is the best. No, it's the second best. Second best terminator out there. And I don't really know. There we go. All right, so now that we've seen that, we can go ahead and take a look. It looks good. Now, if you have a link, you want to link it to another website, you put it on there. So www.facebook.com, for instance. And remember, this image, we want to go ahead and change it. Uh, if you want to keep these stock images, you can. However, I don't think that's a good idea. So there's a website where we can go to. We can get little images that are perfect for this. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's called icons8.com. It's a free website. And just go ahead and type in uh, like a... So right here we clicked on... or Let's just go to search. Let's type in weapons. Make it look, uh, you know... They have, they have icons for everything. So as you can see, I already got this one before. And we can scroll down. And on the left side right here, we can see new icons. Very basic. Uh... You know, you scroll down. Whatever icon you're looking for, they have it. It's a very uh, large website that has um, tons of, uh, you know, icons, Reddit, social icons, whatever you're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and embed this skull. So I have this little skull right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on download. Now it's downloaded right here as we can see. So, um, okay. So we have our, our skull right there under download. And I'm going to go ahead and upload it now. So let's go ahead and backspace this. I'm going to click on Upload. Upload Files. Select Files. Now we need to go find, it's in my download section. So I have a lot of files as we can see. And um, I see it. You know what, we'll just use this one for now. It's there somewhere. But let's go ahead and upload this one too. Let me see here. Oh, and right here. Okay, so I got two files. Okay, great. So there's our skull and there's a new missile that I downloaded previously. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And let's go ahead and insert this into post. Oops, my friend's on Facebook. Insert into post. And now we can see, uh, we're going to go ahead and apply this image. And now we can see our little skull is there. So now we have, we make Terminators. Um, this is the best, best Terminator out there. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and Click on save and let's go back and look at our other widgets right now. So we've done with this widget. It looks good. Now let's go ahead and see our focus content widget and we're going to go ahead and close this one. And now we can see our WooCommerce is next. So this supports WooCommerce, which is a website that allows you to sell on this website. So let's go ahead and click on here. And now we can see it's the same exact thing. We can see it's WooCommerce. We can go ahead and change this title. Um, Arnold's workout work Arnold's workout plan okay and now we can go ahead and put this in right here saying 
He does 1,000 push-ups a day. And the link, I'm just going to go ahead and, and leave it blank. Um, now we can go ahead and change this image right here. Let's go ahead and upload an image. And we're going to put the uh, missile. Let's go ahead and enter that into post. Let's go ahead and apply. Now we can see that we've changed um, both of these icons right here. So go ahead and change these next two images if you would like. You don't have to. Uh, you can leave these images. However, I would recommend um, changing all this content by simply just clicking on this. Uh, I've already showed you how to do two. So uh, just simply, uh, yeah, you're good. Now next we can see add a widget. So if you want to add more of these little things right here, just go ahead and click on add a widget. And these are other widgets you can add. Um, for example, we have our calendar, uh, but we're not going to add those in. We're going to add in our focus widget. So go ahead and scroll down. And we can see right here, the Zara focus widget is right here. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And now let's type in um, the best machines ever. And then you're going to go ahead and add in uh, whatever text you would like. Um, we make the most amazing machines that destroy the planet. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've changed that. Well, let's go ahead and add in a link, whatever you would like to add in. And for our image, we're going to go ahead and upload. And let's use this plus box. Go ahead and insert that in post and click on apply. So now you can see we successfully added another one right here. So we've added uh, one additional one. So if you want to add in more, let's say you want to add an eighth total, just simply um, do the process again. Right on here, you click on add a widget again. And you would simply just go ahead and add in. Now remember, if you have your own images, just go ahead and upload those. Um, you don't have to use these little images. Um, I'm just doing that just to show you um, another way to uh, add uh, images. So once you're done with this, go ahead and click on Save and Publish. Let's go ahead and click on Back and Back. And now let's just keep scrolling down. We're going to just go ahead and keep knocking this down. We're doing very well, actually. We're almost done with half the website. So now we see About You page. This is our next page. So right here, we're going to put About You. Go ahead and click on this. About you, go ahead and change the title, whatever you would like. So I'm going to do about our company. No, we already did that. So about the Terminators. Terminators. Yes. Use our subtitle. So whatever you want this part to be, you're going to go ahead and put that in. Um, T1000 models. And now for our text right here. You're going to go ahead and put in whatever you would like right here. So go ahead and take this and backspace it. Now you can see the text is all gone. And we're going to go ahead and enter in, um, uh, we can enter in dummy text. So let's just go ahead and put in, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this right here. And just boop, 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 boop. Okay, so I added some text right there. And let's go ahead and change this image. I don't really like, like this guy on my page. So let's go ahead and take him out. Let's go ahead and click on remove, select image. Upload files, select files, and I want to add in a really cool looking robot. So let's go ahead and add on this robot right here. Go ahead and open that. And let's go ahead and choose this image. So now we can see that our Terminator looks pretty good. He looks very uh, clean and it talks about Terminators. And we can go ahead and talk about this and put in the image right here. So, for example, if you want to talk about the owner or if you want to talk about a specific uh, person or category or something great about your company, you would do that. You would just insert the picture here and talk about it right here. And as you can see, we can add in more text. So, it looks good. Go ahead and click on Save and Publish. Now, remember, if you want to hide this section, if you don't want to talk about any of these, um, you know, your, your company or something like that or your products, you can go ahead and click on hide this section about you. And it's going to hide it. It's going to simply get rid of it. But we want it there. So go ahead and click on it. And save and publish. So now let's go ahead and take a little look at our website so far. Let's go see what we've done to our website. As you guys can see, it looks great. Um, we have our welcome to Skynet, our learn more. About our weapons, we have our little icons we've put in there. 
Go ahead and keep scrolling down. And we have our about our terminators. This would be about your company. And next we have our team. So let's say you have a team of people that work with you and you want to introduce them to your visitors. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and click on customize. And now let's um, scroll down to our team, which is our next section, and content. So now let's go ahead and scroll down really quick and see what we've done with our content. So remember, what you want to say up here, you're going to go ahead and put that in. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my team of terminators. And um, these are these are the machines of today. Okay, so my team of terminators. And remember, you're going to go ahead and put in your um, put in whatever you'd like. So go ahead and click on save and publish once you're done. Click back. And now we're going to go to our team section widgets. So go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, each person has a specific widget, just like before. So just like we did up here, it's going to be the same exact thing as this. So go ahead and click on the first one. Now we can see it says Ashley Simons. Well, I want it to be Arnold. Arnold S. And now you can see the name has changed. Now, what position does this person hold? Well, I'm going to put he's the T800. Or he's the S800, I'm sorry. S800 series. So now we can see that the title has changed, or the position has changed. Now let's go ahead and scroll down to our description and just simply put whatever you'd like to talk about this person. So. I work out all the time and have big muscles. Okay, so as you can see right now, when you scroll over and you hover, it's going to give you a little description about the person before you click on it. Now, if this person has a Facebook link, you're going to go ahead and put it in. A Twitter link, just simply put it in. Uh, I don't really use that. And Dribble, I don't really use Dribble either. So yeah, I think that's better. So now you can see that it looks very good. But let's go ahead and change this image right here. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And you see the picture of her. Now, one more thing uh, opens link in a new window. That means when you click on the link, it will open up an additional window for you to go to the website. It won't take you off the website. It'll just open up. It'll pop up a new page of Facebook or whatever um, social profile you have in here. That's what this little means right here, this little checkbox. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and yeah, leave it checked or however you want to do it. So if you want them to go to the Facebook and leave your page open too, you would click that box. So now let's go ahead and take this image out. And let's go ahead and upload a new image. Let's go to Upload, Select Files, and we got this picture of Arnold right here. Go ahead and enter that into Post, and press Apply. So now we can see that our image is coming along very well. So we scroll over it. It says, I, have, I work out all the time and have big muscles. The Arnold S800 series, as you can see, it looks very good. And just click apply. We've done that. It looks great. So now we can go ahead and close this widget. We're done with this one. We've successfully changed our team member, or our terminators. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, Timothy Spray right here. Let's go ahead and click this box again, just like we did before. And under name, we're going to go ahead and put in a name right there. So let's go ahead and put in the T1000. And he is... Um, He's an advanced model. The T1000 is liquid metal. And you would put in his Facebook link, his Twitter link, uh, Bahant's link. I don't really like that. Dribble, no? Okay. So now we see that it looks good. T1000, advanced model. We scroll over, and the description is right there when we hover over it. So next, we're going to go ahead and insert the image again. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Remember, opens link in a new window. That means if you click on this page, it's going to take you, it's going to open up an additional window of Facebook. Uh, however you like to do it, everyone has their own style and method. So for this image right here, we're going to go ahead and delete that. Click on upload image, upload files, select files. Now we're going to go ahead and put the T1000 right here. 
Enter this in the post and click apply. So now you can see that the T-1000 shows up, his picture. He's a very angry man. And it looks good. You can go ahead and see his Facebook, his Twitter, his LinkedIn. So once you're done with this, like I said, click apply and click on close. So now we've done these two. Now we can scroll on to the next one. And Tony Garcia, I'm not going to put that in. We're going to put in um, random machine and he is the account manager. Sure. Let's go ahead and leave this text in there. We, we all know how to change this. Our Facebook link. Let's go ahead and take that out. That out right there. And let's go ahead and um, take this image out. Opens link in a new window. Sure, why not? And we're going to go ahead and upload a new image. As you can see, the image is gone. Upload a new image. And let's go ahead and put in this one again. Now click on Apply. As you can see, it looks very good. Now let's just change this last guy. Uh, uh, Jason Lane. We're going to go ahead and change him. So let's go ahead and close this right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and t take the name uh, T1000 Chinese Guy. I think the T1000 was Chinese or he was Korean. I don't know. He's one of the two. Uh, he was actually Asian in the new movie, which was uh, very strange, you know, for a Terminator to be uh, Asian. But I was all open for it. I was all into it. But I did not like the new movie. So Chinese model. Or Asian model. Let's just go ahead and put Asian. Because I don't want to offend anybody. I know how it is when you're like, hey, are you Asian? Like, no, I'm Japanese. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I, dug, you know, I don't mean to be mean. So let's go ahead and put Asian right there. And now we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And our Facebook link. Let's go and take these out. I don't really know what those are. You know, I don't really use Dribble or Behance, whatever those are. Open link in a new window. Sure, why not? So right here, you're going to go ahead and delete this again. Upload image. Upload files. Select files, and we're going to go ahead and select the um, the Asian Terminator. Boop. Let's go ahead and enter them in the post, and click apply. So now we've seen that we've added the Terminator in there, and our drop-down menu talks about him. So now you can see it looks very good. Uh, it looks very clean. It looks great. Now we can go ahead, and if you want to add in another person, it would be simple. Just go ahead and... And right here, go ahead and click apply and close this really quick. Now we see our add a widget right here. So if you want to add in another teammate, if you have maybe eight teammates, you're going to click add a widget right here. And you're going to scroll down until you see the team member widget. So now we see our team member widget right here. So go ahead and click on it. And um, I'll put Daryl. I'll put myself. And we can go ahead and um, say uh, WordPress helper, WordPress helper, and I help make websites. And I can insert my link right here. Um, I'll just put Facebook only. And I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, sure. I'm upload image. I'm going to go ahead and click on upload, upload files, select files, and um, I'll put this one in right here, of me right here. It's like a high school picture. Huh? It looks kind of... Yeah. All right. Insert it into post. And let's go ahead and click on apply. So now we see the pictures have come up really well. Um, if you click on it, we can see that it has a drop down menu. So remember, if you have maybe eight or nine, 10, 15 employees, you can list them all right here and talk about their profile and lead them back to their personal profiles. So let's go ahead and click on uh, close, save and publish. And let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit and now we have our testimonial section look at that we have our testimonials in our latest news and we're done that's it we've successfully almost made a website congratulations so let's go ahead and click on back and let's just go ahead and take a look now before we begin to our testimonials this little page right here is popping up and I'm sure you're wondering why is this there well that's our menu page and we're supposed to put a, a menu in but however since it's a one page theme we're not going to do that However, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this and also add pages. So under your website right here, go and click on Dashboard. Now go to Appearance and then go to um, Menus. Okay, now we can see right here. Oh, you know what? I really forgot to mention to everybody. I'm so sorry. Um, for this theme, you want to add in Pirate Themes or our Pirate Forms. So go ahead and click on Begin Installing Plugin. And click right here and click on install. Okay, 
great. Now go ahead and click on back. So sorry about that. Uh, a quick thing of what we've done so far, go ahead and click on activate. Some WordPress uh, websites, they require certain plugins. Uh, this website does. However, a lot of WordPress website themes do not require them. So that's why I was sort of, uh, oh my goodness, it requires one. I didn't really know that. So um, let's go back and click on menus like we were talking about. Now we can see our menu right here. So this is our menu right here. Now I don't really want this here. So you see where it said sample page on our website before? I'm just going to go ahead and t get rid of this. I don't really want it there. So let's go ahead and click on create menu. Now let's go back and go to visit websites. Let's go see what we've done. So now we see that sample page is still there. So we need to go ahead and get rid of that. So let's go to our dashboard right here and appearance and menus. So now we can see that our, um, our page there was before. We want to make this our primary menu. And if you want to add in new pages, um, you can go ahead and do that. However, um, you know, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's go ahead and remove this custom link to of home. There we go. Remember, make this a primary menu. So I'll go ahead and click on save menu. And now this should change the way it was before. So let's go ahead and, and visit our website by scrolling over here, top left, visit site. Now, as you can see, it's all gone. It looks very clean. It looks crisp and it just gets straight to the point because this is a one page theme. You don't really need um, pages. You know, it's just going to redirect you to other parts. However, when they click on learn more, it'll already get scrolled down there. It'll always be introducing your website and they can scroll down and see what your website is all about. Simply stunning. So as you can tell, the website is looking very good. And we're going to go back to our testimonial section and finish this. So go ahead up here, click on customize. Now go ahead and scroll down to our testimonial section. Our testimonial section. And now let's go ahead and scroll down to see while we're working what the changes are being made. So here we see testimonials and right here testimonials. So whatever you wanted to say, meet our customers and our customers are happy. Okay. So go ahead and click on save and publish. Um, for this, we're not going to hide it. We don't want to hide it. If you use a Pinterest layout, you want to use a Pinterest layout, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to leave it stock like this. So go ahead and click on save. And now let's go ahead and click on back. And let's go to our testimonial section widgets. So go ahead and click on this. And just like before, you guys have seen, you guys are already learning how this theme works. You're just going to go ahead and click on this little button right here. And now we see our author. So the author right here is the name we see right here. And it's going to come up in a little signature. So let's go ahead and put my name. Daryl Wilson. Uh, the author has a link. You want to put a link in there? Go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it like that. Now for the author details, um, whatever you want to talk about the author, uh, you can put a uh, funny guy. Now for our text right here, uh, as you can see right here, the um, the author details came up right here. You can put funny guy, you can put business owner, you can put uh, friend, family, whatever you like. So right here, you're simply going to delete the text. And as you can see now, the text is all gone. So we can go ahead and give a description about it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some more dummy text just to show you guys, you know, this is just how it works. Just go ahead and put it in. And as you can see, it's, um, it's adding text in. It looks good. Now, if you wanted to keep adding text to align with the images, just go ahead and keep adding text. And as you can see, it now it aligns perfectly. So if you want these boxes to align, you need to add in enough text on all of them to make them somewhat balanced. So let's go ahead and change this image right here. So right here, under this text, you're going to backspace and we're going to upload our own image. Let's go ahead and upload. Um, let's do Arnold again. Uh, no, I take that back. We have the old guy right here. We have this one. We have this Terminator up here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this image. Click on open. And let's go ahead and upload him. Insert into post. And now we're going to click on apply. So now you can see that we've text, we've changed the text, we've added in a name right here, we've added in the description of the person, and now we added the logo of the person. So simply, once you're done with this, click on apply and click on close. 
Now you can see it's strictly the same as all the other plugins that we did. Uh, the website is looking amazing and it's very uh, familiar, all the other widgets, to what we've done so far. So let's go ahead and keep keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Now let's go ahead and add in this one right here. Let's go ahead and edit this one and then we'll add in one just so I can show you. So author right here, I'm going to put Sarah Connor and put in the link and our author details. Um, we'll put in crazy woman. She's a crazy woman. And right here, this text, you can go ahead and fill in whatever you'd like. And for our image right here, we're going to go ahead and backspace. because These are stock images and we're going to upload our own image. So click on upload, upload files, select files, and we're going to add in you, Sarah Connor. Make sure this, make sure this is um, uploading. You see this little blue, how it's blue around her. Make sure it's uploading that one. Okay. So go ahead and insert that in the post. And then once you're done, click on apply. Now you can see the image of Sarah Connor is there. So now we have Sarah Connor in this little image right here. So now let's go ahead and close this. Uh, I'm going to leave this one stock for now because I've showed you how to do two. And let's go ahead and add in a widget. So let's go ahead and learn how to add in one. Click on add a widget. Now you want to scroll down to meet our customers. I'm sorry, you want to do it to the testimonial widget. So Zerif, testimonial widget, you're going to click on that. Now author. So who is this person? Uh, it is Johnny Bravo. Now you're going to add in the link right there. Oops. Uh, handsome man for author details. I used to be on Cartoon Network until they took me down. And now we're going to go ahead and upload an image just like before. So as you can see right here, the image is starting to come in. So if you want to add in more, just simply, um, you know, if you want to keep it like the same box, just make sure you have enough text to sort of uh, fill it all in. And now for image, you're going to click on upload image. And let's just add in um, whatever one you'd like. Let's add in this um, Asian uh, Terminator. Once you upload it, you're going to click Apply. Now we can see the Terminator is there. So now we have our new person right here giving a testimonial about our product or our website, whatever uh, you would like. So now we've successfully added in a new customer that would talk about our website. So now go ahead and click on Save and Publish. Okay, so next what we're going to do is when we installed that plugin, uh, what happened was uh, it changed our background on us. So we're going to go ahead and reinsert that image in the back. So let's go ahead and click on this X. And let's go ahead and click on Customize Your Site. And guys, sometimes this happens. Small uh, mistakes happen. Uh, sometimes nothing goes perfect. You know, I've seen a lot of those tutorials. I'm sure you've seen other YouTube videos where something happens. And they're like, hey, how do I fix this? Your video didn't work out too well. So uh, this is great. So we're going to go back to our Customize button. And we're going to go to background image, click on background image, and let's remove this image again. And we're going to put our other image back up. So go ahead and select the image that you had, choose the image, and click save and publish. Now as you can see, the image is back up there, and it's looking good. So let's go click on visit website. All right, great. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And let's take a look at our website and our overlay. As we can see, it's looking really well. Um, it's looking, uh, everything's really going according to plan. Uh, looks good. All these look great. Uh, we've almost successfully made this website in less than 30, 40 minutes. It's simply stunning how fast we've made this site. We can see our customers. Everything looks very good. And the last section we have is our blog. So right here is our blog section. So how do we make a post? Well, you're actually going to go ahead and we can, there's, there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you how to do it the longer way and then I'll show you the shorter way. So up here we can click on dashboard. And now you see where it says post right here. Go ahead and click on this. And now you see where it says hello world. We're going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to make our new post. So go ahead and click on add new post. And let's say you want to talk about your business. Um, 10 best ways to market your business. And um, like I said, if you want to uh, add in uh, whatever you'd like to content, go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and insert dummy text. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. 
And now if you want to add an image into your posts, you can do that. So right here it says click add media. You want to click on add media and go ahead and insert an image. So I'm going to insert uh, Arnold right here, insert into post. And you can see he comes up now. So I want to talk more under him like this. And remember, if you want to change this image, you can. So click on this image right here. Click on this little edit button right here. And now we're left with these options right here. These are display options. So if you want to center this image in your article, you can center it. And you can put it on the right side. You can put it on the left side. Um, however you'd like it. And you can put a link. So if you want to make this a link, you can put in a custom URL. So when they click on this picture right here, it's going to bring them to uh, another website. Say you want them to go to uh, New York Times or Los Angeles Times, whatever you would like. We're just going to put in Facebook.com. We're putting Facebook.com for everything. <laughs> so uh, it looks good. And also if you want to change the size, you can click on size and we can do full size. We can make it bigger. So once you're done, go and click on update. And now let's click on publish. So let's go take a look at our post so far. Let's go ahead and click on view post. So now this is our post right here. They click on our article and then this is our full on post right here. And it looks good. Looks very good. Looks clean. However, I want to add in a picture um, to our, our main preview. So right here, you're going to click on edit post. And go ahead and scroll down. And you see this part right here where it says set featured image. This is on your page where it's basically going to, here, I'll tell you what, I'll give you an example. So go ahead and scroll down. And as you can see, this picture is coming up. But I don't want this picture to come up. I want another picture to come up. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to go ahead and set our featured image to something else, to Sarah Connor. Let's do Sarah Connor, set as featured image. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and click on update. Now let's go ahead and view our website. Now let's go ahead and scroll down. Scroll down to our last section. We've done, we've come a long way. And as you can see now, Sarah Connor's there. And we can read the article and it zooms in on it. It looks good. You can click on read full article and it brings you to the page. The one we just did. Remember the featured, uh, image it's just for the highlight so it's just for this specific section right here oops sorry right here now let's say we go back to the page and we see all this stuff on the right side right here I don't really want any of this stuff right here it sort of takes away the content of our main post right here so let's go ahead and do that uh, there's a few ways to do that and um, let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So under our dashboard right here, we're going to go to appearance and we're going to click on widgets. Now you see right here where it says sidebar um, and all this junk right here, the search, just go ahead and right click right here or left click and just click delete. And we can actually just, you know, delete everything in this sidebar because we don't really need anything. If you want a recent posts, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff right here. Delete. And uh, delete. And delete. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look now at our website or our um, our sidebar area. So we have to scroll all the way down now. And we're going to go ahead and click on this now. Sarah Connor. As you can see, all that other stuff was gone. We can still uh, delete this stuff, and we probably will. Uh, you can delete the search bar. However, I deleted most of the uh, sidebar icons. And now I want to go ahead and show you the last thing we're going to do. The last thing we're going to do is install the pirate forms. So basically what they gave us, what we were forced to install, we're going to go ahead and put that into our footer section. So let's go ahead and back and visit our website, and let's take a, a quick look at what we've done. So we can scroll down right here. It looks very amazing. We have a fully amazing customizable site in probably 40 minutes we've made this. So right here, I want to add in a contact form or it's strictly up to you. Um, I personally don't like it because I don't really like the way it looks, but there are ways to adjust it. However, you know, whatever way you would like it. So this is our footer section right here. 
So I want to go to our widget section and add in pirate forms for our footer section. So right here under dashboard, you can go to appearance and go to widgets. Now we can see right here it says pirate forms. So this serif theme, this sort of wants us to add in this, um, it wants us to add in uh, the pirate forms to sort of, you know, hey, you want to uh, subscribe to us, something like that. We're going to do that. So uh, let's go ahead and choose footer area three. Add a widget. So right here, we're going to put um, title, we're going to put sign up, text above form, uh, I don't know, hello. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now let's go ahead and see what we've done to our website. Let's go ahead and see what we've added to our website. All the way down to the bottom. And as you can see where it says, sign up, hello. And right here it says your name, your email, your subject, and your message. And whatever you send, it's going to send it to your email. So I'm going to put Daryl Wilson, my email, and howdy. And go ahead and send the message. Okay, great. So we successfully sent the message. And let's go ahead and take a look at our site. As we can see, it everything looks good. However, it's still missing something. It's missing our little buttons that we could have added. So let's go ahead and click on customize. And there's actually a few sections left. There's a ribbon section. And this will add a little ribbon to your website. And by that, let's go ahead and take a look. So right here it says bottom button ribbon. Click on it. And put in the coolest website ever. Learn more. And then put a link. Click on save and publish. <clears throat> And now we can see right here, you see this little uh, effect it has right here, the coolest website ever, learn more. So you can go ahead and add in something else like um, our number one sales on um, ebay.com and link it to that page. So as you guys can tell, it sort of adds more to the website. It makes it look better. It makes it look cleaner. And we can add in a second one, the right button. Let's go ahead and put in... Um, uh, meet, uh, no, see, we made the highest sales of the West Coast. <clears throat> Check us out. And then go ahead and put in a link. Go ahead and click on Save and Publish. And now let's see what we've done. So we scroll down, and now we see right here in between our Meet Our Customers and our latest news, now we have another tab where it says, we made the highest sales of the uh, uh, sales of the West Coast. Check us out, and that would take them to another link. So now let's go ahead and go back to customize, and let's go ahead and look at our last two options. Now our last two options, we can see we've done all these sections right here. We don't have the Google Maps section, and we do not have the pricing section. However, we don't need that. You don't need that for this website. This is a one-page theme. We don't really need to embed Google Maps. If you look at my other tutorial on how to insert a blog, uh, I'll show you how to do that. And right here, our static front page, you want to just go ahead and leave this as our latest post because let's take a look at what happens if you leave it as a static page. It sort of, everything disappears and goes crazy. So we don't want to do that. Just leave it at your latest posts and click Save and Publish. And now let's go ahead and look at our website. I think we're finished. So let's go ahead and scroll down about our weapons. As you can see, this ribbon effect looks amazing. About our terminators, about us, our team of terminators, um, meet our customers. As you guys can see, it looks, it looks stunning. Sarah Connor <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's funny, Sarah Connor. <laughs> okay, so we've had this like, successfully done. And now let's go ahead and take a look at our other website, which I'm going to introduce you to another blog. So this is my other website, Um, I'm going to show you how to make this video setup on our next video right here. So you guys can see, I'm going to show you how to embed this, quick Feb 30 and I'm going to show you how to introduce all of this cool stuff right here. So my next video, I'm going to add in the video in the background, and if you look at uh, my other page, my contact me page, we can see this background right here. So it's something to look out for if you're interested in making um, videos on your background, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. So congratulations on your new website. We've successfully made it. 
Uh, if you have any questions, let me know um, in the comments section how I did. If you have any questions on how to change certain things or add in plugins or widgets, uh, feel free to contact me anytime. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, my name is Daryl and I'm signing out.